And new this afternoon, President Trump tweeted that he will not be attending Joe Biden's inauguration. As people across the country continue to baffle over the storming of the U.S. Capitol building, leaders across the Carolinas have differing opinions on what should happen to the president for his role that is said to have sparked the flame. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris joins us now with all those details. You know, leaders on both sides of the aisle have said that what happened on Wednesday would not have happened without Trump's actions. But it also displayed a spectacular failure of security in the same location that is set to hold the inauguration in two weeks. And it's changing how the momentous occasion is going to be done. We need to impeach. South Carolina Representative Jim Clyburn believes President Trump needs to be put out of office immediately. He wants to be remembered for doing things that's never been done before, and he should be remembered for being the first president in the history of this country to impeach twice. Clyburn says it's a matter of national security after the president's last rally speech ended in his supporters storming a U.S. Capitol building. We're going to walk down and I'll be there with you because you'll never take back our country with weakness. What he said uh, that led to this insurrection is no telling what he would say or what he would do to imperil this country. But South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham tweeted today that pushing impeachment would do more harm than good, be unsuccessful in the Senate, and set a dangerous precedent. But Clyburn isn't buying that. He sounds like he's trying to help protect a president. Looking towards the inauguration, Clyburn says officials cannot repeat Wednesday's security failure. Maryland and Virginia, I would hope those governors will start putting in place right now what it takes to activate the National Guard. The inauguration was already set to have 2,000 or less people because of COVID, but Clyburn says that's likely to change. After this, it may be even less people. Clyburn says the inauguration will look more like the DNC, so the public won't be allowed near and shouldn't try. Stay in your pajamas, get a cup of coffee. You're going to get a much better view sitting in your living room than standing on the street corner four or five blocks away and the weather is like it is today, you're going to be miserable. Now, Clyburn says that he believes President Trump should go to Joe Biden's inauguration as a showing of putting America first. And while there is still time for him to change his mind, again, as it stands right now, President Trump says he does not plan on attending. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.